Found here in America as the lead character in the ABC show Quantico. But for years, she's been an A-list celebrity to the 1.3 billion people who live back home in India. As a teenager, she won Miss India and then Miss World. Priyanka has 21 million followers on Instagram and another 21 million on Twitter. She's been named to Time Magazine's list of the world's most influential people and to Forbes Magazine's list of the most powerful women in media. Priyanka invited us into her New York apartment for a Sunday sit-down after she dashed home off the set of her show. Priyanka Chopra is one of the biggest stars in the world. Who are you? I guess you'll never know now. Welcome to my humble white <laughs> And it turns out, a gracious host as well. Thank you for having us over. Of course. It's amazing. Thank you. Mind if we stay a while? We only have a few of us, like 20 people. <laughs> yeah, it's just, I'm used to it. I host a lot in this house. <laughs> over the last decade and a half, the 35 year old Chopra has starred in more than 50 movies back home in India where she is one of the country's most famous faces. If you can explain to an American audience what it's like to be one of, if not the biggest movie star in India, because it's a country that has a billion more people than the United <laughs> States has. Like, that is true. The audience is massive. I don't think any movie industry around the world ever experiences the kind of love and affection. They have a feeling of that, she's mine, she's ours. Which is just, it's, it's so visceral and it's so like raw. And no, nobody else in the world will ever experience that. I've never seen it anywhere else. Global stardom was not always part of the plan. Priyanka grew up wanting to be an aeronautical engineer. The daughter of two Indian army doctors, she was an excellent student who went to high school for three years in the United States. I came here on vacation to visit my cousins with my mom and my mom's sister lives here. So we just came for vacation and I went to my cousin's school. Okay, so I'm 13, 12, 13. Vanity is peaking at this <laughs> moment. So I walk into this high school in <laughs> Cedar Rapids, Iowa, which that too was really glamorous for me at that point because I was like, oh, they don't wear uniforms here? And I was like, that's what I want to do. <laughs> I had a blurb in my brain and I went and told my mom, I said, mom, I want to go to school here because I think it'll be better for my future and my education. And my mom agreed. She bought that. And then I stayed back for about three years and four years and then went back. When 16-year-old Priyanka returned to India, life took a sharp turn thanks to a sneaky move by her mom. Is it true or false you can tell me your mother submitted you into Miss India without your knowing, put your head shot in? Yeah, you totally didn't. true. So it wasn't your idea? Not at all. First of all, I didn't think I was pretty. Second of all, I was very shy and I was only confident like if I was on debates, elocutions, on stage. It was 2000, don't know what came over my mom. <laughs> she didn't think about it, she didn't tell me, she just sent them in, did not expect a call back, we got a call back. And then it sort of spiraled out of control because you won that, then you win Miss India World. Miss India sent to Miss World right. after I won Miss World. I mean, I was 18 years old. And I guess when I started getting my first few movie offers in India, my dad actually sat me down and said, I don't ever want you to have a what if in your life. So give it a shot for a year and a half, two years. Works out, great. If you're awful, you can always go back to school. And I was like, thanks for the confidence, Dad. <laughs> sure. With her father's support, Priyanka never looked back. So he was like my best friend, my greatest fan. When I won awards, like he was the one cheering. He's proud of you. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah see, so am I. This is my dad's handwriting. But in 2013, after a long fight with cancer, her biggest cheerleader died. But he was somebody I, like your hero, you know? And nothing happens to a superhero. That deterioration, you know, that broke a lot of me. Priyanka pushed through her grief by working and taking on a new challenge, Hollywood. So as you sat with your career in India, you had 50 films, you'd won mountains of awards, incredibly popular there. What was it inside you that said, let me take a crack at Hollywood? Why did you even need to make that leap? I guess I didn't. I probably didn't. But I guess I just wanted to see where else life would take me, what else I can do. I don't think they're mutually exclusive. I don't know, I didn't want one country or two, I just wanted the world. Priyanka signed a deal with ABC, where she had her pick of 26 different scripts. She chose Quantico and the starring role of FBI agent Alex Parrish. America deserves the truth and nothing less. 
She became the first Indian woman to star as a lead in a major U.S. network show. So what do you love about Alex? What was it about this character when you read it? You said, you know what, that's the one I want to play. Well, it wasn't really written, but I just love the fact that Alex always has perfect hair. <laughs> she it. just, it's like, the world's blowing up, but her hair doesn't. <laughs> The secret to getting Priyanka Chopra to do your show is great hair for the character. That's it has it. to bounce when she walks. She's in. <laughs> no, but what I loved about Alex was she's completely a flawed, like, modern woman with no apologies. And it doesn't matter what anyone says to her. She lives her life, you know, in the sound of her own drum. And I think that's such a great example for young women out there because we've been told for such a long time that women need to be a certain way, speak a certain way do a certain job, have babies at a certain time, you know, like everything has been told and decided for us. And Alex just like, is who she is. Last year, Chopra made her Hollywood film debut in the role of Victoria Leeds in the Baywatch movie. I'm not a Bond villain, oh, yet. When she's not on screen, Chopra uses the megaphone international fame has provided her. Among many causes she supports, Priyanka is the goodwill ambassador for UNICEF. Just in the last two years, you've been named to Time Magazine's Most Influential, Forbes Magazine Most Powerful. You won the Mother Teresa Award a couple of months ago. I consider being a philanthropist a social responsibility. See, and I was raised in that environment since I was a kid. So when I became Miss World, I realized that I, I had a platform where people, if they didn't listen to me, they would at least hear me. They would at least read about me. And I just, I suddenly had a magnified voice. And I started taking up things that I feel like needed magnification. Priyanka keeps her private life private, especially about her friendship with another global star, Meghan Markle, who will marry Prince Harry in May. Before I let you go and we leave your apartment, I have to <laughs> ask you, in Las Vegas, they're taking betting odds on who will be the bridesmaids in the royal wedding. And I need to make a few extra bucks. So can you give me a little tip? I don't even know when the wedding is. You don't? You got nothing for me on that? <laughs> if you see me there, you'll know. She's a wonderful girl. And uh, we've been friends for a few years. And I just, whatever it is, I hope it's magical for her. All right, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Priyanka's show Quantico returns for a third season in April. She continues to work on films in India and has another movie out this year here in the United States, co-starring Claire Danes, Jim Parsons, and Octavia Spencer. To hear Priyanka's take on the Me Too movement and her role in it, check out our web extras at today.com slash Sunday. And next week.